Plenty of people have criticized Fox News because of its bias. I haven't joined in that criticism. Since the federal government removed the requirement that television stations give equal time to diverse viewpoints, news operations are allowed to have a viewpoint and even to be biased and misleading if they want. People who want a higher quality of news can watch other channels. That's what I do. I don't watch Fox. But someone sent me a segment from a Fox News show that wasn't just shoddy journalism, it was outright bigotry. The host of the show, in a conversation with a guest commentator, said that the recent alleged involvement in terrorist attacks by Muslim doctors in the UK is a reason the US shouldn't have national health care. He said that if we had national health care, more Muslim doctors would come to the US and they would be terrorists. Is there any way that accusing Muslims in general of being terrorists is not bigoted? Even the host seemed to realize what he was saying was problematic, so he injected, that's not a racial comment, but it just is. The bigotry is obvious. What isn't so obvious is why Fox is using bigotry to attack national health care. If the folks who own Fox don't like the idea of everyone having access to affordable health care, why don't they just say so? If they don't think national health care is the best way to get people the medical care they need and want, why don't they just argue the relative merits of the various proposals? Why try to make it look like the problem with national health care is Muslims? Is it because Fox has found from their coverage of the Iraq war that their viewers respond to bigotry more than they respond to reason? Is it because Fox can't think of any rational arguments against national health care? Is it because no matter what the issue is, attacking Muslims is important to Fox? Is it because frightening people with the possibility of terrorism has always worked for them in the past? Or is it just that they are bigots? I really don't know why Fox does what it does. I'm also not sure what can be done about it. The FCC may not be able to do anything without being accused of censorship. A few politicians have refused to go on Fox News programs, but so far that hasn't had much impact. The Bush administration supplies Fox with all the important government officials it needs to stay in business. Clearly, the companies that buy TV advertising could put an end to the bigotry by refusing to buy ads, but up until now, they don't seem to have any problem with sponsoring bigotry. And boycotts of Fox by people like me don't seem to matter so long as there are plenty of people who will watch the station. I think the other TV stations might be able to help out. They could stop reporting on what is said on Fox shows. They don't report most of what is said at meetings of the Ku Klux Klan or the American Nazi Party. They could also make it clear that they won't hire people who have worked for Fox because Fox is not a legitimate news station and their experience is therefore worthless. They could start reporting on the bigotry espoused by Fox. It is a legitimate news story when a major media outlet regularly offends public decency. But the news business is pretty clubby, so the other networks may not help out. And they don't seem particularly bothered by Fox's bigotry anyway. The job of policing the news will probably continue to be the work of bloggers and a handful of independent commentators. They have broken a lot of the most important stories the past few years, and they have been doing a pretty good job of pointing out what's wrong with Fox. The burden shouldn't fall on the little guys, but it usually does. Fortunately, the little guys don't mind. They like showing the big guys how to do their jobs.